Mary Barber as a woman, a working class woman, kind of, she's more hands on. And she's at a time where um, women's rights are beginning to kind of get talked about. Um, you've got the beginnings of the, the women's suffrage. There was a thing called Mrs Barber's Army, they call it, and she mobilised um, women, boys, children to, to actually go and basically um, and stop bailiffs um, doing like rent sales and things like that in the street. The way the plinth moves round is like, as you walk round, you are part of Mary Barber's Army and they're very much at a level, a kind of human level, and that again is very much the kind of working class women of the people that she actually was. So today the group have been looking at films um, about the rent strikes in Glasgow. We looked first at a film called Great Western Road, which uh, shows a little bit of what middle class Glasgow looked like around the time of the rent strikes. And we also looked at a film that was made in 1985 called Red Skirts and Clydeside. Um, and it's a film very much exploring the erasure of women's history. Um, and it was made by the Sheffield, Sheffield Women's Co-op. And it does talk quite a lot about the, the rent strikes. And in fact, they interview Ma Mary Barber's descendants in that film as well. We were looking at various artefacts today um, from the women's suffrage movement and also the anti-suffrage movement. We had some really nice postcards depicting women in very stereotypical ways as kind of weak characters. And we also had some objects like um, the, the, the little pin badges that women would wear on their lapels to show their support for the, for the suffrage movement as well. It's a pot and cover of a suffragette saying, I say down with the trousers. <laughs> so the pot lid is her hat. Oh. The silk scarf that I brought out that had the, the votes for women on it and it had the, the green and purple colours on it, they really enjoyed that just to, to see just how light it was and also um, it also showed kind of femininity as well. It wasn't just all these harsh women shouting and protesting. They were also wearing very delicate fabrics and they were still maintaining their, their femininity while they were protesting. Mm -hmm. 